So if you find some plastic flamingos in your front yard, chances are you've been yep. flocked. Some Jones County Girl Scouts are leaving yeah, these birds, there they are, at businesses, homes, and schools to raise money for their dream trip. Sabrina Burst joins us in the newsroom to tell us where they're planning to go. Frank Laurie, these Girl Scouts, Girl Scouts are in the sixth grade now. Before their senior year in high school, they have dreams to go to what some might call one of the most romantic cities in the world. Monday afternoon, the Jones County Pre-K School found some unusual birds in their front yard. Amy McMillan says if you find flamingos at your home or business, you've been flocked. So another troop like out of town gave us this idea and we decided to give it a shot, see what happened and it took off quite literally. Uh, flamingos are going everywhere. Here's how it works. The Girl Scouts will nest the flamingos somewhere. You can call them and donate $20 to have them removed in two days. If you don't want to donate, they'll stay for four days until the Scouts shoo them away. It's earned a lot of money so far, so the girls are just having a good time with it. So where's this money going? Marissa Ferrero is a sixth grader now and says the money will help them go on a trip to Paris during their senior year in high school. Paris is just one of one of a lot of our dreams and it's, it's an um, amazing trip to go to. So far, these girls have raised about $1,300 with these pink flamingos, but they have about 11 grand more to raise. The Girl Scouts have flocked about 40 different locations between Jones and Bibb counties since October. Chloe McMillan says she likes flocking people for one simple reason. I just like surprising people. Ferrero says this is a fun way for the girls to bond, learn how to plan, and be active. Some of the people think it's cute and it's a good idea. The Girl Scouts are booked through December, but you can give them a call if you want to flock someone to support their cause. Frank Lori, back to you. Mm, I may have to uh, keep that in mind for some of my favorite. Uh... Randall. <laughs> you might find him in your yard. I can tell them where he lives. <laughs> Thanks, Sabrina. The Girl Scouts say their next move is to leave books at Liberty Park and Gray for students to take. If they don't have access to a local library, you can look for those on December 8th around 1230.